So you've just come back from the store with a brand new graphics card. You pop it into your system, and what's the first thing you do? Before you start playing games, you install the latest drivers, right? Well, yes, but that's also exactly what I'm not going to do today. I'm just going to pop the graphics card right in and see what kind of performance numbers we get without any sort of additional driver software installed. Of course, we are going to be using the default Windows drivers, which doesn't really count since it's not intended to play games in any capacity, which is exactly what we're going to do without drivers and then with drivers right after it to compare the numbers. I'm not expecting anything good, but we'll see. Since I'm going to be gaming entirely without drivers, I thought I might see a bigger difference using a card that was more high-end, since a low-end card might not see that big of a difference by not having a specialized driver. I thought we might as well use a card that is more high-end and will be able to be capable of more with a driver. That way we can see how drastic the differences are with drivers versus not drivers, and we'll see. I bet some of the games won't even start, probably. But anyway, the car that I chose to test this on is the RTX 2070 Super, the MSI Gaming X version, to be specific. But anyways, the chip it's going to be paired with is a 2700X Ryzen 7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Since we're already not using any drivers, I'm not even going to bother to apply an overclock to the 2070 Super or to the chip either, because there's no need for that. I want to emulate more of a, a basic scenario, and now that we already have no drivers, I'm not going to put even potentially more of a burden on the graphics card by making it run above stock clock as well. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a 3080 or 3090, so it would have been the ideal scenario to test it with one of those. But at the moment, I do not have anything more powerful than the 2070 Super on hands, but that should be fine. That's still more powerful than what most cards probably are these days, if you take a look at the Steam survey or something like that. I probably shouldn't have to say this, guys, but don't do this. Seriously. When you get your new graphics card, install drivers, please. You'll notice right away if you don't just because of how the display will look. But just don't do this. The only reason I'm doing this is just to show you guys what would happen if you didn't install drivers. And it's just to illustrate the importance of having drivers, especially graphics card drivers. Those are really of paramount importance. All right. Now let's get into it. So let me just tell you the games I'm gonna test. The four titles I'm gonna be using to test today are all quite graphically demanding. And there's actually a reason for that. Whenever I'm testing in such a configuration where the graphics card is the weakest link, that's to say it's not the CPU, but it's the graphics card that's holding the system back, I always like to test the most demanding games as possible. And the reason for that is because then there's the most strain on the graphics card. What we're interested in here is the performance of the graphics card, not of the CPU, which is why we want to strain the graphics card as much as possible, even when it does have drivers. Because if we were doing less graphically demanding games, then sometimes the graphics card would not be fully strained in the scenarios where it does have drivers. So to make sure that it's always fully strained with and without drivers, I'm testing the most demanding games possible. And the four games I chose to test are Metro Exodus, Control, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and Crisis Remastered. Four titles that are not exactly lightweight in the graphics department. Now let's get right into it. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. None of the games were able to run. The only game that I was actually able to get into the game to get the app to open was Control. But that one, when it was just about to load into the first level, the game just crashed. So even Control didn't work. And then I tried, I thought, definitely some less demanding games. Okay, maybe it can't handle these graphically demanding games. Figured surely, surely it could handle something like CSGO without drivers. Nope, CSGO didn't work. Valorant didn't work. Overwatch didn't work. Nothing worked without drivers. So this just further emphasizes the point of why it's so important to have drivers. There is no way around it. 
And the good news now is that drivers are so easy to get. All you have to do is go to the graphics card manufacturer's website, not the manufacturer, go to, go to either AMD or Nvidia and just download the driver software. You need an internet connection, but you need an internet connection to be a gamer on PC nowadays, because without internet, how are you even going to download games? You can't download games. Nowadays, virtually all games are digital. So an internet connection is basically a requirement anyways. And the driver software is a lot smaller than a game. So it won't take that long, even on really slow internet. So yeah, just go ahead and download your drivers. This video has been a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping I'd have some more to show you. But there's no reason to even include the benchmarks because there's nothing to show, really. The only thing there would be to show is the performance with drivers, but there'd be nothing to compare it to. So I'm not even gonna bother doing that. But all you need to know is that drivers are now an absolute necessity to game, pretty much, because your graphics card doesn't know how to work without drivers. You can do other stuff without drivers, but you can't game. Everything else was working fine once the display adjusted to the correct resolution, even without drivers but it does not work for playing games whatsoever. So yeah, make sure that you have your drivers, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.